at just a shade over 37 feet long, roughly 9,300 pounds dry, but can sleep six people comfortably, you're looking at a mid-sized fifth wheel bunk model with upgraded features and amenities that are going to make you think that it's a luxury fifth wheel. I think if that's what you're looking for, you're going to love the Forest River Arctic Wolf 321 BH. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young, hanging out in one of my favorite spots in the RV, when they have them, the bunk room. Why? Because sure, if you're a family that's looking to sleep six plus, you need multiple configurations. You just need room for people to lay down and get some rest. Bunkhouse is all the way to go. But if you're looking for versatility, entertainment options, something that you're going to use as a vacation home, a bunkhouse is a great way to go, even if you're an active couple, because you got room for people to come visit, you got additional room for storage, you got additional places to entertain. That's why I love bunkhouses. Now, on this 321BH by Forest River Arctic Wolf, what you're going to get back here in the rear is a multi-versatile bunk room. Over here on the campsite, you got the double over bunk right here with the Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattress. You'll see that's three inches thick, large windows, giving you some good cross breeze, large panoramic window here on the back too. All the windows are going to be surrounded by this faux leather wrapped wood valances. You're going to have high ceilings because we are full profile fifth wheel. And right over here on the off camp side, this is what I'm talking about with the versatility and the entertainment. You got a little couch back here for people to sit, chat, maybe watch some TV, whatever it may be. And then when it's time to go to bed, you got the jackknife sofa and you got a bunk that latches in with 300 pound capacity on it. I mean, that's good versatility. Storage drawers underneath. Plus over here, you got plenty of storage. You even got a little hideaway ladder for the kids or even the dogs to help get them up when they are ready to go to bed. Like I mentioned right here, you got a good spot. You know, if you want to set up some entertainment, you'll notice right here is where you have all your electronic uh, connections. You got your dual USB charging, you got your cable or satellite, and you got your 110. Good out, Bobby. So, got a 110 outlet right there as well, and a barn style door separating the bunk room from the rest of the coach. And I like it because the decor is light, it's brighter, but you still kind of make it feel like you're in a rustic kind of cabin. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm laughing at Bobby. He's a weird looking dude, <laughs> but I love him. Uh, just like I love this Arctic wall, high ceilings. And what's great about these right there is your Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet 15K BTU AC. Not only do you have one here that is ducted and it does have the quick cool dumps, but you literally have to be freaking minute bowl in order to reach the quick cool dumps. So why they put those in there, I don't know. But you got a 15K BTU AC in the master as well and a 35,000 BTU furnace inside this beautiful 321BH. Coming to the bathroom with its own separate access, you'll notice you got the high-rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush, the solid step over steps for my second entry point, which with a lot of fifth wheels in this class, you don't really get. Large single basin sink. You got the little storage spot down here, good spot for a trash can. The corner mounted medicine cabinet, big, large space on this. I like it. Plus we got the raised lips for additional safety and security. You got the GFCI outlet. And because your family knows you and they know when you go to use the facilities, you're going to have to operate that max vent fan. So when they see you headed there with the newspaper, what are they going to do? They're going to grab the remote control to operate that max air fan. And what does that do? More than anything, those blades are high output. So that's gonna pull about a foot of air per second out of this coach. Not only does that help with, you know, uh, Uncle Tyrone's situation, but it also will pull a lot of hot air out of here and cool this coach down extremely quickly. Over here on the off-camp side, you'll see in, nestled in the slide, a U-shaped dinette and a tri-fold sleeper sofa surrounded by huge panoramic windows, solid wood valances, and slides with six feet four inches of clearance in them. I love that. Residential LED sconces. You got the live edge table, which this does reduce down into a sleeper, giving you some more sleeping options. And look at that large giant drawer. Good grief. That's 
that's enough space for the board games, the fishing tackle boxes, the hunting cases if you want them, whatever you want. And then you got the pull-out sofa here, leather, plush, and comfortable, leatherette. And I like the zebra shades because you get to adjust the level of light that you let in. Plus they're decorative, which I always kind of tip the hat to Cherokee anyway because they're, they're like a think tank when it comes to RVs. They're always trying to innovate and do things differently. You know, like a few years ago, they put blue lights in everything. I mean, just take a look. We got blue accent lights everywhere. There's even one on top of the slide here um, that you can't really see. There's one up top of the yep, entertainment center. And right here in my driven subwoofer, you'll notice my speakers are blue backlit. And you got a subwoofer right there as well, an 8-inch subwoofer built in. So if you want to bump, you can bump. Over here on the campsite is where we have our kitchen and storage area. You got a 10.7 cubic foot, let's just call it 11 cubic foot Canon 12 volt fridge. This is frost resistant, vibration smart. Uh, it does run off a of 12 volt, so if you're gonna run off the coach batteries, just make sure you get that solar panel, which you are prepped for. I believe we already have a 50 watt uh, upgradable to 100 watt panel in there, but you can get you know bigger panels if you want it with the juice pack that comes on these limited Arctic Wolves. Now. Over here on my campsite kitchen, check me out. Cutting board cover for my undermounted farmhouse style sink. I love it because not only will it give me additional prep space, it matches the decor of this pressed mold edged countertop. I don't have that T mold anymore. I got the graphite black fixture, the high rise sprayer faucet and the hand sanitizing station. If you need a cutting board, like my buddy Ian always says, use the backside. You don't want to mess up the top. Right over here is my three burner cooktop, gray stone with the grill cover and the glass cover that doubles as a backsplash. Since this is flush mounted, you got even more prep space right here. The backsplash that's built in is actually a magnetic cutting board. They're just always thinking about cool stuff, man. I dig it. Got the little blue accent lights on the oven and burner controls. Plus you got the little 16 inch oven there. The pot and pan drawer right here my LP O2 detector and then right up top right above my high point microwave I got frosted glass inlay cabinets solid wood construction matte black features on the handles and tons of countertop and storage space excuse me and since we are a full profile too you notice you know because of the accent light how this has that residential molding and residential feel to it. I'm a fan of that too, because not only do you have high shelves, you can put stuff up there like plants. It can be additional storage space and just another option inside your coach. Solid wood construction, full extension on these ball bearing drives. It's a very nice touch. Over here, as we get ready to head up into the bathroom and the master area, this is where our entertainment center is. Nestled in a spot so that everywhere in the coach, people can enjoy it. And you're going to notice one thing about the Arctic Wolves. They have the paw mount for the televisions. That's just a removable bracket that goes on the back of your TV. So if you don't want to buy four or five TVs for all the spaces where you have hookups, you can just have one and the mount just slides in. Very nice little touch. Good storage up here as well. Got that dang blue accent light right there. My cable, my TV connection, dual USB charging, 110. Live edge on my component shelf here. My driven AM FM command center, which has dual zone, Bluetooth, HDMI, USB, CD, MP3. No, it doesn't have CD. I just wanted to say all those other letters because it made it sound really good. But it does have Bluetooth, HDMI, USB, AM, FM, dual zone. It's a lot of letters, right, Bobby? Yeah, that's, that's a lot of letters. Right above uh, our fireplace, which is electric fireplace. It's roughly 5,000 BTUs of heat coming off of that. Multi-flame settings, multi-light settings. Uh, really does a good job, I like to say, of knocking the chill off the air. Fuse box right there. A great upgrade for 22 is they took the total control panel and sure you still have your controls right here for leveling the lights the whole nine but which you can control from a cell phone app as well you also have the new touchpad on the cherokee total control run out your awning run out your slides cut on your lights check my battery check my tanks it's bluetooth so i can check this from my phone as well you do have the 110 option for your water heater and you are set up for the Wi-Fi one control hotspot, it's already built in. Good little voltage reader right here to let you know how your battery's doing. Plus you got your HVAC controls for the main area right there. Now, walk into the master bathroom. 
Oh yeah, this is a bath and a half. <gasps> It's nice, isn't it? I know, for 37 feet long, come on, man. This is beautiful. Got another Max Venair fan here. Barn-style door, high-rise porcelain bowl, big old vanity sink, storage underneath. Got me some storage up top in this large medicine cabinet. Good grief, Bobby. It's big. There you go. Get that thing around there, boy. And got good linen storage right here. Oh, sorry, Bobby. And the single surround, let's see, what is this, 30 by 36? Yeah, this looks like a 30 by 36 uh, with the Aquaflex door. I I'm a fan of these because it gives you more entry space. Sure, I do like the glass enclosures, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of those. But this is a nice alternate to that because you do get more entry space and you still get good protection uh, when you have it closed. So, just nice. Shower control there. Skylight inlay giving me some additional headroom, but I really don't need it because we are in a full profile. Last but not least, let's go into the master bedroom where you got the queen size bed nestled right here in the front cap. Mushroom LED lights, a shelf up top for some storage. Plus I got me some ward storage on both sides. I got my 110. And this is to charge my Furion Lit, which comes with the Arctic Wolf. So there's also USB charging on the side, so you can plug your phone in. Dual USB over there. Live edge on the tops of your nightstands, as well as drawer storage. Just good space all the way around. Strut supported storage underneath my master bed. And right there, my double 15K AC. And then right over here, my entertainment area, plus some more ward storage. I mean, just good layout, good design, good flow, well-built, great insulation. And you got dual 15K BTU ACs. I mean, big windows. Look, why is dual 15K BTU ACs a big deal? Because a lot of times when you get a 50 amp RV, you get, if you do get two ACs, one's going to be a 13.5, one's going to be a 15K, usually. Now that's, I'm splitting hairs, but I'm telling you in the summertime, it makes a big difference. And if you'd like to stay cool, you want to separate how everything is between the bunk room and the master, it makes a big difference. So we've seen the inside of this beautiful Forest River Antiquable 321BH. What do you say we take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the all new Forest River Arctic Wolf 321BH. I'm gonna start right up front with this beautiful molded end cap right here, fiberglass with the running lights. And you'll see right underneath, we got the Rhino Box hitch right here, which comes down to a point which really helps with that turning radius. We do have our storage box where our spare tire is. This one does come standard with auto level, which you can control from the one control command panel inside, or you get your auto leveling controls right there, plus our battery box and disconnect. You'll see our landing gear, the Lippert Ground Control 3.0 landing gear down there with adjustments. Now, this one, you know, you, you got that aluminum frame in there, you got the foam core insulation, it's, it's beautiful fiberglass with the graphics. The one thing I would say when you get your Arctic Wolf, it comes with the 20 pound LP tanks upgrade to the 30s. Go ahead, pay an extra pop for that so you can get the 30 pounds because they do come in handy. Because you're talking about a 35,000 BTU furnace that's gonna need that propane to run. All right, in here you got finished off, enclosed, pass through storage, and entertainment options. So if you wanna set up a TV outside, there's your cable hookup, there's your power, and you even have a secure port that you could run the connections through without having to worry about somebody accessing them outside or messing with them outside. And you have magnetic anti-slam on all of your uh, luggage doors outside. You do have the leash latch, uh, which has a 1600 pound capacity on it. But this is great not only for the pets, but also for you, you know, securing tie downs. Underneath, we have a heated and enclosed underbelly with the Accessibelly uh, system under there, the armored underbelly. Uh, and we have the solid step over steps leading us into the master entry right here with the extra large grab handle that doubles as a door guard. Got the aluminum rims here, nitro filled tires with the tire pressure monitoring system on those Dexter Easy Lube axles. A great feature to have, actually two of them. Black tank flush and external shower with hot and cold. Now you do have a outside kitchen on this one as well, which has lights, storage, a sink, 
Plus you got a storage tray right here for your grilling accessories, a 110 outlet for your double door driven little mini fridge freezer combo. Let, let, let me tell you, this is a little too opulent for me. I would have everything stored in this thing. And you say, well, Chris, it's great for an external kitchen, but what about the grill? You got the LP Quick Connect underneath, and you can even opt for the uh, additional grill mount if you want the one that swings around from the bar. Bike rack on top of the back 4x4 sewer hose storage bumper here. Plus, we got the backup camera, which is also Bluetooth right there. Very nice feature. Those arch ceilings and the three inch rain nozzles help keep the weather off. The, you know, the rain and the snow off the top of this RV. You got insulated slides all the way around. There's my 50 amp service. Plus, you got your main terminations down there. Now on this one, you got a 49 gallon fresh tank and dual 70s. You got a 70 gallon gray, 70 gallon black. Come over here, you got your second wastewater holding tank. Gray tank, if you will and your Suburban 35K BTU furnace and your external command center, as I like to call it. Got a little LED light here for some additional security. Freshwater connection is here. Black tank flush is there. Cable and satellite connections are right here. So, other side of my pass-through storage is here as well. Magnetic anti-slam latches on everything all the way around. But let me tell you, the most important part of any RV is going to be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this RV weigh? For example, the dry weight on this one, 9,300 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 11,815 pounds. You take that back to your specialist at Camping World at Gander and you say, hey, you know, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where we're going to go camping. We know those three things. We can find the RV that's right for you. But if you're a family that's looking for that mid-tier, full-profile fifth wheel that needs a bunkhouse, but you want some of those luxury upgraded features, I got to tell you, man, the Arctic Wolves by Cherokee, Forest River, a great pick. And this 321BH at 37 feet, one inches long, it's a good fit, man. Good size, good space. You saw the breakout. You saw the room. Bath and a half, too. I'd check it out. Just saying. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it. What you not like about it because we love hearing from you. And please, while you're at it, also click like, subscribe, and notify so the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the 321, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, come check out an RV because they're fun.